And we see it, we see the trouble in London and other parts of the UK. But we wonder then what young people here make of the TV images that they're seeing of this rioting. And why are our kids better? Uh, joining me now is Harrison Carter, the Sheffield representative of, on the Youth Parliament. Morning, Harrison. Thanks very much Morning, for being here. Uh, tell us what you make of what's been going off. Well, first of all, obviously it's important to recognise um, that the actions of the writers uh, were wrong and continue, obviously, to be wrong. Um, and in London nationwide, you know, it's really quite sad to see people destroying their own local communities, uh, putting people out of business and wrecking people's lives. And so uh, there has to really be, and there has been public anger, public outrage about that. Uh, in Sheffield, uh, obviously Sheffield's one of the major cities not experiencing civil disorder, and uh, we, sh we should really be proud of that because, unfortunately, in the communities in London, the communities in Merseyside, Greater Manchester, that are experiencing that kind of civil disorder and that kind of protest, um, all the regenerational work that's happened there, all the intergenerational work between young people and older people has just wound back 20 years and you've got divisive communities now when you were getting communities coming together. I mean, this really will divide communities, won't it? Because these are kids of 9, 10 and 11 years old. Uh, and people know who they are and people know who their parents are. Yeah. And, and, and this will bring... I saw last night a, a, a girl, a shop owner from London, uh, describe them as feral rats. Yeah, I saw that too. Now, now when you start talking about other people's kids like that, mm. Eventually, when everything's better, things are going to get bad again, aren't they? Yeah, quite right. I mean, the one issue is that you have these young people um, who are out of jobs, who aren't able to sort of access training, who are disillusioned. That's not really an excuse for, for, for what they're doing, but that may be one of the reasons why. Mm -hmm. um, and that's one issue that needs to be resolved. You also then have their parents who are hearing uh, other people um, criticise their, 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 their young children, their young people. And so in a sense, that would divide the community in another way. So it's, I mean, sort of this kind of divisiveness is, ha is, is happening all over. And it is really a case of the government needing to sort of get on top of it. I mean, the problem is, and one of the worrying things, is that these people aren't fighting for a cause. There's no reason why they're doing it, and it's, and, and, and in my opinion, and I've said this before, it's opportunistic. Mm -hmm. They're taking the opportunity to, to, to become criminals for a day, and uh, under sort of the cloud of other people, um, they become faceless. People can't find them. Um, and also using the internet, they become faceless as well. I mean, obviously some people have been caught, but it's much more difficult on the internet. So, um, in a sense, because they're not fighting for a cause, how do you stop it? What, what's the problem that needs to be resolved? We're obviously finding a way in Sheffield, though, because they weren't there. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know what it is, I don't know if we're just... I, if, we, if people are more... I don't know if we're better parents, I don't know what it is. I certainly know if I'd have gone out right in my, when I was that age, my nan would have killed me. <laughs> and maybe there's a bit of that going off. Well, joining us now on the line is Lloyd Samuels, he's a youth development manager, he works with young people in Sharrow and Broomhall. Morning, Lloyd. Good morning, Toby. Uh, what are you getting from kids in Sharon Broomhall uh, about the riots? Do you see any sense of the, there being a possibility of it in Sheffield? Well, at the moment, I think they're observers. First of all, I'd have to applaud uh, Radio Sheffield for actually reporting it as it is. You know, I'm, I've been kind of in the mix of this whole thing and we've been observing it for the past three days and... The media, once again, are reporting this in a light that isn't fair to young people. Do you know, I was watching the rolling news last night, Lloyd, and, and the, 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 I, the, I saw, I remember seeing the uh, the caption, it said, the Clapham Junction last night. You think, well, hang on a minute, what, we've got to, it's just that they've got to fill 24 hours a day now, isn't it? Harrison, y y y Lloyd makes the point there. These are just opportunists, and, and he, he illustrates it there. If you've got 16, you've got nothing to do, and you're going for a plasma. But I'm guessing that if somebody had said that to you, how old are you now, 18, 19? 18. If somebody said that to you two years ago, let's go to Curzon and get a plasma, I'm guessing you'd have said no. I think I would have said no. Um, there are really sort of key issues here, and I think Lloyd's absolutely right. It's about people being opportunists and people taking that sort of opportunity, that chance to go off to, to Curzon and take that plasma. And, and, and really, that's a really sort of upsetting thing to, 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 to think about because these young people, he's right, uh, perhaps haven't got a future. They're in an area where jobs are scarce, where there's no opportunity for them, where there's no access to training, where there's no services like in Sheffield. We've, we're very uh, sort of proud to have Sheffield Futures, which is an excellent service for young people providing careers advice. They might not have that. Now, if they don't, there's no guidance there and there's no direction. And also, um, I mean, uh, I was saying to this to a few young people I was speaking to yesterday, you know, um, 
myself and them, we wouldn't think about going up to our local shops and, 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 and wrecking the place and putting people out of business because there's a sense of ownership over our own communities. And what they haven't got is a sense of ownership over their communities and over their actions. And so um, there are some key issues that have to be sorted out. Um, I mean, people are going to talk about the police and about the response of the police and about their kind of tactics, but really we need to move away from that. We need to look at the, the key reasons for why people have started this kind of violence. And we also need to recognise that the media perhaps has to be more responsible in the reporting of it um, to ensure that we're not encouraging other people to do it in other cities. Harrison, thank you very much indeed for coming in this morning. That's Harrison Carter.